Armstrong International Airport is seeing delays and cancellations. The airport tweeted this afternoon that you need to check with your airline before you show up to the airport. We're hearing about some long lines there. If you have a flight scheduled in the next few days, you should call your airline before you go to the airport. Now remember, you can get updates along with live interactive radar on our WWL TV app. Just search WWL TV in your app store and it is free to download. Katie and Therese. All right, thanks so much, Devin. Uh, you just talked about those air long lines at the airport. We saw the video from the Armstrong mm -hmm. International mm -hmm. Airport a little bit earlier with those oh packed God. crowds. And we're joined now mm -hmm. by Aaron Burns. And Aaron, uh, are you with us here? Yes, I am. All right, Aaron, thank you so, so much. I mean, really, really packed today at the airport, something that we weren't really expected. Uh, can you give us an explanation as to what we're seeing here? We know that we have long lines uh, trying to, attempting to go through TSA. Does this have something to do with TSA officers, or are we seeing an influx of people rushing to the airport to leave the city? It's really a result of the large amount of people um, trying to evacuate. We saw a lot of cancellations uh, this afternoon going into this evening and of course tomorrow. So we've just got a lot of people trying to get out of the city um, and it's causing some delays and backups at the airport and especially in the TSA line right now. Okay, well do you have, uh, are you fully staffed when it comes to TSA agents? And if you don't mind clarifying for me, when we talk about cancellations, just how many are we talking here? Sure, so um, uh, TSA has reported that they do have staffing available right now, staffing up to uh, five to six lanes um, to get through the checkpoint. So. I know they're working as hard as they can to process everyone safely and efficiently. Um, and then in terms of the cancellations, for today we saw about 36 reported cancellations from all the airlines, and then tomorrow it's over 200 cancellations. Okay. So we expect that if, if any airline does operate, it'll be early in the morning, and by the time the weather impacts really start to reach the city, the, that most of the airlines will have canceled all their flights. Okay, so I'm assuming that each of these airlines are kind of relying on uh, the individual airlines, are you're relying on them to reach out to the people who have been impacted as re in regards to what to do in this situation, correct? That's right, and of course we're working um, with them to strongly encourage people to check with their airline first before coming to the airport because as you see, your flight may have been impacted by uh, this weather event. So it's best to do that. It's best if you have to do any rebooking um, or rescheduling of your flight, do it before you come to the airport. Don't try to come to the airport to uh, handle any rearrangements of your flight. Yeah, I was going to ask you, you have a lot of people, you say people attempting to get out of town, probably trying to jump on a last minute flight. Uh, you're discouraging that. Uh, I saw MSY tweet a little bit earlier that they are discouraging people to come to the airport unless they already have plans to travel. That's right. We're just dealing with large crowds at the airport, as you see. So we just want to try to be able to handle those ticketed passengers as efficiently as possible. And if, they, if passengers can be helped over the phone by their airline before coming to the airport, that just puts a lot less strain on our operation and allows us to, to get people out and moving like they all want to. All right, Aaron Burns, thank you so much for joining us. I know that you have a lot of people who are traveling right now, attempting to get out of the city. And I know that TSA, you guys are, as you just saw the video earlier, is packed today. We hope that you're safe and we hope that everyone uh, hopefully can jump on their flights as soon as this weather passes over.